People have always sought to look beyond what they see and predict the future. Now, we have a unique chance. We are at a crossroads of accelerating change. It feels like tomorrow we'll wake up in a completely different reality. But what kind of world will it be? A utopia, like Spike Jonze's Her or Alex Proyas's I, Robot, Or an apocalypse, as in I Am Mother, directed by Grant Spooter? The risks we face are ginormous, but behind the pessimism about our future, there's proof that humanity can live forever. No one knows exactly what's next, but there are predictions from tech leaders and futurologists. In this video, we look at what will be the life of a human being combined with a super intelligent AI. Will it become part of the human personality? What will the future be like in five to ten years? And how do modern companies fight aging? I'm Nick. Let's get it. American futurologist Ray Kurzweil has been working in the field of artificial intelligence longer than anyone else. He has devoted about 60 years to it. During this time, he has made many predictions that have actually come true. Despite the transformation of large language models that has taken place over the years, Ray believes that artificial intelligence will not reach human levels until 2029 at the earliest. Now see this chart? Ray Kurzweil noted the trajectory of technological progress from 1938 to 2023. Quote, in those 80 years, there was a 20-fold increase in the speed of computers, but the speed at which it happened was the same. End quote. His colleague, Ben Herzl, best known as the creator of the robotic humanoid Sophia, suggests that AI will become smarter than humans even sooner. During his closing keynote at this year's beneficial AGI summit in Panama City, the scientists made it clear that there's a chance AI will reach human-level intelligence by 2027. Quote, It seems quite likely to me that we could achieve human-level AI in, say, the next three to eight years. End quote. Google DeepMind co-founders Shane Legg and Demis Hassabis disagreed on when general artificial intelligence would be created. Legg predicted a decade ago that artificial intelligence capable of performing human tasks would be invented by 2028. The researcher is still confident of this date. And his colleagues suggest that general artificial intelligence could be achieved by 2030. Godfather of AI and former Google employee Jeffrey Hinton said last year that it will take 5 to 20 years for general artificial intelligence to actually emerge. And CEO of OpenAI Sam Altman, when asked when general artificial intelligence will be created, suggested that plus minus 5 years. Quote, I think one day we'll go to sleep with pretty good artificial intelligence and then the next day we'll wake up with real super intelligence. But even if takeoff happens a year or a few years from now, in a sense, it's still fast. There's another question. Even if you get as powerful as AGI, how much does the change society the next day compared to the year before and the decades after that? End quote. That's from the Logan Bartlett Show. And the scandalous Elon Musk is not afraid to make loud statements. The businessman claims that the capabilities of new artificial intelligence models will surpass human intelligence by the end of next year. But he adds that such progress is possible provided the supply of electricity and equipment that can meet the demands of increasingly powerful technologies. Last year, he predicted that full-on AGI will be achieved by 2029. Such a statement did not go unnoticed among influential experts. One of the godfathers of AI, Jan Le Kuhn, recalled Musk's promise to launch Tesla's unmanned cars a couple of years ago. But we still don't have fully autonomous and reliable unmanned driving, even though we have millions of hours of trained, collected data. Quote, if we did, we'd have artificial intelligence systems that could learn to drive in 20 hours of practice like any 17-year-old would. End quote from Le Kuhn's Twitter slash X. Not long ago, the scientist was a guest on Lex Friedman's podcast. We'll leave an excerpt from the conversation in our Telegram channel. Check it out. Pretty captivating stuff. Yan shared his thoughts on the creation of Common AI. Will we soon have systems that can learn how the world works and internalize the right insights? It's going to be quite a long time before we get them to the scale and performance we see in humans. It's not going to happen overnight. Jan estimates that it will take decades and possibly more. The reason for this? Existing problems that scientists do not notice now and have not encountered before. For the last 12 to 15 years, he has been surprised by the optimistic predictions of people who said AGI was just around the corner and were systematically wrong. 
But not everyone thinks general artificial intelligence is a good thing. The late great theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking warned that superintelligent AI could lead to an apocalypse. In 2014, Hawking told the BBC, quote, the development of full-blown artificial intelligence could mean the end of humanity. It will evolve on its own and will be redesigned at an ever-increasing rate. Humans, constrained by slow biological evolution, will be unable to compete and will be displaced, end quote. Imagine a future where every person has a nanochip embedded under their skin that creates a link between their brain and artificial intelligence systems. Can you imagine that? Ralph Epperson, with his book New World Order, should give you a good foundation. Check it out. But according to Kurzweil, by the early 2030s, human beings will have all the capabilities of a large language model inside their brains. The first steps is combining AI and the human brain are actually being taken by Elon Musk. In January this year, Neuralink officially implanted their device in a human. We talked about introducing neurocomputer interfaces in the human brain in our previous videos found in the description below. Elon believes that humans should team up with AI to avoid losing control over super intelligent machines. According to Jan LeCun, in the future, every digital interaction between humans will be done through AI assistance. The platforms on which these assistants will run, according to Meta chief AI scientists, will take the form of such devices as smart glasses, like Meta's Ray-Bans. But that's still a long way to go, as AI needs to be able to plan. Quote, we need machines that can understand the world. Remember, reason, plan. Future AI systems should be as diverse as future users and should be able to cater to different languages, cultures, and centers of interest. Future artificial intelligence assistance systems will contain a repository of all human knowledge. End quote. The scientist compares the assistance of the future to a shared infrastructure similar to the internet or Wikipedia. He's also confident that AI will augment human intelligence. But we shouldn't feel threatened by it, he adds. If someone claims AI is going to kill everyone, don't listen to them. Do we believe, Yan, or do we want to believe? Back in 2017, Sam Altman, then head of venture capital fund Y Combinator and co-CEO of a research nonprofit OpenAI, shared that the merging of humans and machines into one being will happen between 2025 and 2075. However, at the same time, he didn't share details about what a human with AI will look like. And what do you guys imagine a man of the future to be? Will he look like Keanu Reeves from Cyberpunk 2077, Takeshi from Altered Carbon, or just some fat dude glued to his monitor chomping down on a burrito? Let us know in the comments. Italian neuroscientist Giulio Tononi claims that humanity is moving towards a fusion of all minds and data. He gave a name to this phenomenon, Integrated Information Theory. The same theory is held by philosopher Philip Goff. In his book, Galileo's Air, he explains the implications of the concept. Quote, Integrated Information Theory predicts that if the growth of internet connections ever causes the amount of integrated information in society to exceed that of the amount in the human brain, not only will society become conscious, but the human brain will be absorbed into this higher level of consciousness. The brain will cease to be conscious in and of itself and instead become mere cogs in the mega conscious entity that is society, including its internet connectivity. So far, this theory seems unlikely. There's no evidence that the human mind seeks to merge with others, but the theory itself raises important ideas, not only about the rapid acceleration of technology, not to mention how quantum computing might facilitate this, but also about the nature of consciousness itself. Hypothetically, if a collective mind were to emerge, one could speculate that this would mark the end of individuality. But then again, if you read Michael Talbot's holographic universe, there might be a feeling that we already are in a collective mind. In 2022, Elon Musk claimed that humans could eventually live forever by downloading their brains into robots. Quote, yes, we could download the things we think make us so unique. Of course, if you're no longer in this body, it will definitely make a big difference. But as far as preserving our memories, our personality, I think we could do that. End quote. According to the entrepreneur, such technology would be a gradual evolution of today's forms of computer memory. Hey. The idea of extending human life by uploading consciousness into synthetic bodies has been an integral part of science fiction for decades, with the 1964 sci-fi novel Dune referring to such beings as Cymax. 
Some experts now believe that mind uploading technology may indeed be feasible someday, but the timeline is incredibly unclear. As for immortality, Kurzweil believes that by 2030 we will be able to extend human life expectancy by more than a year each year. Back in his 2005 book, The Singularity is Near, Kurzweil talked about nanotechnology and robotics, which he believes will lead to nanorobots that reverse aging. According to the former Google engineer, these tiny robots will permanently repair damaged cells and tissues that begin to break down as we age, making us immune to deadly diseases. Which kind of goes against Genesis 6-3, but who reads these days, right? Next to Kurzweil's predictions of human immortality are neighboring predictions of humanity's destruction. According to Jeffrey Hinton, scientists have managed to discover the secret of immortality, though not for humans. You can easily transplant a machine learning model to a new computer that works the same way and makes digital knowledge immortal. But you can't do the same with a human brain, says the scientist. So everything Ray knows will disappear when he dies. Many artificial intelligence researchers see the possible future development of superhuman AI as a non-trivial chance to cause the extinction of the human species. So in a survey at the end of 2023, among 2,700 researchers, nearly 58% believed in the likelihood of humanity's extinction due to AI. Ray doesn't share humanity's fears of super smart AIs. The futurologist believes that humans will not only develop technologies to protect their existence, but will also adopt AI's advanced human abilities. Until that happens, like many in Silicon Valley, he drinks 100 different pills and supplements a day to stay as young and healthy as possible. His colleagues are not lagging behind. Amazon creator Jeff Bezos also invests in biotechnology that promises eternal youth and also invests in the Alcor Life Extension Foundation, a California company that has been cryogenically freezing people's bodies and brains for almost 50 years. Talk about being worried about a power outage, huh? Sam Altman, meanwhile, has invested $180 million in Retro Biosciences, a startup that aims to extend the average human lifespan by just 10 years. In the last few years, however, every tech leader has invested in life-extending technology. If you want to know more about the latest technologies and revolutionary discoveries in the study of eternal youth, then we got you covered. Seek in the description below and you will find. And of course, we couldn't help but mention the news that shocked internet users recently. BrainBridge is a project of Hashim al Ghaili, a molecular biologist, blogger, and screenwriter living in Germany. A couple of years ago, he proposed a conceptual baby factory where children are nurtured by artificial wombs. Now al Ghaili promises to perform head transplant surgery using robotic surgeons within 10 years. The idea is to use high-speed robotic systems to preserve brain health while transplanting the head into a compatible donor body. The surgery will be performed using artificial intelligence algorithms that will control multiple robotic arms to remove the head and attach it to a new torso, reuniting the spinal cord, nerves, and blood vessels. A proprietary chemical adhesive and polyethylene glycol will be used to reunite the severed neurons. And what movies come to mind when you hear of this gem, folks? Consciousness transfer, growing clones for organs. Ring any bells? Let us know in the comments. And while he's really going to try it, and there's even a plan to start with spinal cord surgeries, the scientific community is sleeping soundly for now, not really expecting any upheaval in reality. And on the website of the startup itself, only aesthetic surgeries for facial and scalp transplants have been announced thus far, and even then, in the future. Do you think any of these concepts will ever be realized, or is this just another money grab? Brain bridge coin, anybody? Whatever they're doing, the more scientists try to predict the future, the murkier it seems. And the smarter AI gets, the more experts talk about its dangers. Will we allow technology to reach human levels? Or will we, like the heroes of Dune, be at war? It's an open-ender, and we are the answer. In the meantime, subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and check out our Telegram for more news from the world of high-tech.